Fender Guitars has collaborated with longtime Christian music artist Lincoln Brewster to bring out a signature Stratocaster that is very similar to the guitar that Lincoln plays on stage. And we love it. Check it out. So it's 2019 and Fender is announcing this new signature model to their lineup from Lincoln Brewster. Now if you don't know who Lincoln Brewster is, he is a phenomenal guitar player who has been popular in Christian music for the last 19 years. He's put out 10 albums, he's a senior worship pastor at Bayside Church in California and a monster guitar player. In the early 90s he was the lead guitar player for Steve Perry when he was doing a solo act and he has been prolific on numerous albums. I think the first time I heard him play was on Daryl Levin's worship album, uh, Freedom, back in the mid-1990s. So that's kind of how long uh, Lincoln Brewster has been in the game. And he is both a fantastic songwriter, musician, and just like face-melting, talented guitar player. And for a long time, he's been on stage with a fantastic Aztec Gold Stratocaster. And there's been rumblings for a long time in the worship community of when or if Fender might come out with a signature model for Lincoln. And they finally have. And here it is, this Aztec Gold Beauty that I hold in my hands. Now, as a worship guitar player myself, um, I am begging someone to buy this immediately and give me some time because I want to take it home. Um, I love it. It sounds fantastic. We're going to talk about the specs and kind of what sets this apart. Now, if you're not familiar with Lincoln Brewster's music, stick around because you might want to check out this guitar just on the specs alone. It is a phenomenal instrument and a great addition to the lineup of signature models that Fender showcases. Now, if you're new here, before we get started, let me just ask you to go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos, and we will keep making them for you. So, back to the guitar. Lincoln Brewster's guitar is very similar to a 57 Stratocaster. Um, the Aztec Gold certainly harkens back to that era, and a lot of the specs on it are very vintage-oriented, like we'd see from something that Fender would do in the custom shop, or maybe the American Original Series or previous American Vintage Series that was a 50s or 57. So Aztec Gold finish, it is nitrocellulose finish, kids. This is not polyurethane, it is nitro finish. So it smells good, it feels good, it's gonna breathe. Single ply pit guard, okay? Um, and then some modern appointments. So it's got kind of a soft V-neck, not real pronounced like you'd have in the 50s. Uh, compound modern radius, modern frets. Uh, vintage looking tuners, but they're locking, there's no hole. And it's really ingenious design. So if you haven't seen these, they look just like Fender's vintage tuners, but you put the uh, string in, pull it taut, start turning it, a cam system comes in, locks the string in place. So you have that vintage look, you have that lightweight, but you have the functionality of a modern locking tuner, which complements the modern tremolo system down here. So it's a two-point floating trem like you would see on uh, the Fender Elite pop-in arm instead of a screw-in arm. So it's there when you need it out of the way when you don't, and it's not flopping around all over the place, and there's no need to put a tension spring underneath it either. Now the electronics and uh, the feel are really where this guitar shines. So it's a satin finished neck and fingerboard that plays effortlessly smooth and on the back you have the curve that's normally re, uh, reserved for the Elite Series. So the heel is really nice in your hand. The pickups are not Fender pickups, they're not Fender Custom Shop pickups, they're DiMarzio area pickups. Uh, they're 58s and a 62 in the bridge. They give you vintage sound, just dripping with great tone, and they're noiseless. There's no hum. And then the controls here are different. Now, I know it looks like volume tone tone, but it's not. It's volume mid-boost tone. You've got a five-way switch, like you would typically see on a Stratocaster. It's going to give you your uh, selection of pickup combinations that we're used to. You have a tone here that works only on the uh, DiMarzio 62 in the bridge position. This tone is actually a mid-gain boost that's adjustable, so you can sweep through it and add the gain uh, to it, and that's activated. So it's not like uh, you'd see on the Clapton where it's just there. Uh, it's activated by a pull of the volume pot. So this is a push-pull that activates it and gives you that mid-boost and gain boost that will really drive the amp and then peak those, uh, those mids and really round out and sweeten your tone. 
whether in the up position or down position, this guitar sounds fantastic. It plays fantastic. Um, I really want to get this guitar. So there you have it in a nutshell. We're going to put it through its paces and play it for you. If you do purchase this right now, I think it's about $2,000. You can go on our website to see the specs and it comes with a beautiful vintage style case. We're going to plug it into this Blues Junior Limited Edition behind me and play it so you can hear all the sweet, sultry tones. Check it out. Thank you. 